Johnny Pink. Hey, I'm back at my favorite little nasty spot here. It's it's kind of the people you get a lot of people walking through here. Today is a very busy day. It's Saturday, but I have a new camera today. I have a Canon R7, <laughs> and I have my 70 to 200 EF lens adapted to it. I'm just going to take a couple of photos today. I just want to play with it a little bit. I, I spent uh, last night setting it up, so I have an idea of where, where most of my custom settings are. A little bit different. I tried to set up as much like my, my R5 as possible, but I'm going to get some dragonflies. So let's shoot some stuff as they fly around and the bees, and then I'm going to wander to the other side of the lake over there. I'm watching some big ones fly around here, so I think I might hang out here for just a little bit and see if I can't catch some in flight. Uh, change my shutter speed to probably about 3,000 or so and see what I can get. They're, they're flying, there's a lot flying through here. The only reason I like this spot is it's a major thoroughfare for them too. <laughs> Let's shoot. It is really, really hot. There you go. Sun. It's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, there's, there's so much flying through here, it's just trying to catch them in flight is really, really hard. There's a red one way over there. So far, I have not been able to get one of the, uh, the big ones in flight. I don't think I have a damselfly yet, and I keep missing them, but I've had a lot of fun. So I'm going to head home. I'll see you guys there. Um, I will have already shown you several by this point. My initial impression, just chimping on the back. Hold on. All right, I'm going to head home. I'm going to look at these, and all day today, I'd have to say about 99.99999% of these have been autofocus because I like autofocus. That's what we spend a lot of money for on these new cameras. That's what they're working on for. 
that's what they're working on to improve and I'm constantly tweaking the settings until I find something eventually that I that I that I think is perfect but for right now I'm good with what I have there's another one right there doggone it all right let me shoot some more stuff This is the conclusion to yesterday's video, which uh, I was out here shooting with the 70 to 200, and using the R7. And today I'm using, as I said, the Lawa. It is. It's a fantastic camera. The M50 is a fantastic camera. And a camera is only as good as the person who is using it. If you don't know how to control your light and you don't know what you're looking for, then you're not going to get good photos anyway. They're going to get good to a point, but that's as far as it goes. So understanding how your shutter speed works, or your ISO, or your aperture, and how they all work together, and in the case of macro photography, uh, using a flash. It, right, it takes everyone time to get up to speed with that stuff. It did everybody. A couple of things I've noticed with the R7 is you do get the rolling shutter when you're in electronic silent shooting, because you're shooting, there's a big dragonfly right there. Ah, just kind of hovering. As I said, I, I'll take a couple of shots with the the Sigma contemporary lens adapted to this. But I watched a wonderful video this morning from Dwayne, and he was saying that it does have that same hunting that it had with the R5. Can you take good shots with it? Of course you can. But it's not going to be the same as a native Canon lens. It just won't be. Native is better. You get good shots, and as long as you're comfortable with that, and for the price, man, I think it is a fantastic lens. I had fun with it, and I still have fun with it. But if I was gonna do some serious birding, I'm watching a little thing here, because I'm looking for macro. If I were doing some serious birding, I would probably take my 500 f4, put it on this, which would be a little, I'd have more reach than I do on the R5 using the 1.4 Tele. That's it, Johnny Pink. Fantastic camera so far, I'm really enjoying it. I like having all these megapixels to choose from so you can really crop into something. I have noticed that with this mega sensor in this little tiny space, it is noisy, so I am keeping my, my ISO down. But it's no noisier than the 90D was. And that's just my two cents. Johnny Pink, you guys have a fantastic day out there. Whatever it is you're gonna do, we'll see you out on the road. We'll see you.